they spent a little time and a little money to find out what their current situation is. They did a building assessment of every building on campus to see what shape they're in. We wanted to have a clear idea of where we were starting in terms of our infrastructure, our parking lots, our sidewalks, systems in every building, roofs, um, you know, the plumbing, the electrical, um, all of that. And I, if I recall, we were estimating somebody somewhere in the four to five hundred million of deferred maintenance. And there are a couple ways to attack deferred maintenance. You know, one is just demolish everything and start over, which is probably not realistic. Budget cuts, state funding's down, so finding, doing more with less while you have these bigger problems, while you're trying to compete more. Every university across the board has not spent as much money as they would probably agree they should have spent on maintenance, and they're stuck in a position where they have deferred maintenance that's almost an unattainable mountain. So figuring out how to pick that apart is, is a challenge. Most of those students now bring five to six devices to campus, so you have to have the power, the bandwidth, to support all of those devices. So we had to update infrastructure. You want to have the latest, greatest uh, equipment, technology, and learning space. You know, the way corporations and the way businesses operate, the way people work has changed. They have started to benchmark a lot of the things that we're doing here. Because what we have been able to do is we've been able to address the deferred maintenance side, but we've also been able to update you know, programs and make classrooms much more modern. So you gain these efficiencies, you save money, um, and we brought, we had a core team that brought every single project that you see here on campus all the way to concept design to make sure they were consistently designed for the master plan principles, they took into account the active learning philosophies, they had the right collaborative spaces outside the classrooms, that none of that got lost. And then we took that and handed it to the in-house teams and they delivered those projects. We've begun to see our enrollment um, not only stabilize but rise. This past fall we welcomed uh, just under 20,000 students. We were up again almost 2%, highest record enrollment in, in seven years. And so when I look back, I can, you can see from 2012 to 2019, um, the transformation not only in the facilities in the campus, but in the strategy and in the, the work that the university is doing. 